guys, welcome to week seven, Sun Prints. Um, over the next five, six weeks, we're going to be talking a lot about the sun. We're going to be learning the parts of the sun. And in our science time, talk about the sun in relationship to the planets, the planets in relationship to each other. Um, and we're going to be doing more projects and activities rather than actual experiments following the scientific method. So during this time, you really want to use the keys of observation. You want to ask the kids their experiences. You want to go over memory work that is pertinent and in relationship to this. You want to express some really cool ideas about God's creation as we're learning it in Genesis 1. Um, so starting out with week 7, Sun Prince, you can start your lesson by talking about the sun, how huge it is, how far away it is from the earth, and yet even though it's so far away, how God has created it to give us heat, um, to give us energy, to create day, and even its UV rays, which we're going to study today, have power even so far away, they can, um, they can affect us and our health and our skin, as well as can affect um, the science we want to do today. In your science bins, you will have a little packet of papers where each student will get a piece of sun print paper. This is the paper that has chemicals in it that react to the sun's UVA or UV rays. And so um, we're gonna be making pictures pretty much using the power of the sun and this paper. Every student will get a piece of cardboard cut out they will bring a little toy or leaf, seashell, whatever. And um, you guys can bring a few things too so people can have them as backup if someone forgets. You're going to take their cardboard. You're going to put their paper down. I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is the print we just made. So you're going to put the paper down with the blue side up. Then you're going to put your little thing we used across. And then you're going to um, pin it down and the cardboard just helps give our picture some stability so it's not just on the concrete and helps it from blowing away. Um, you will have a piece of plexiglass in there if you want to use, um, but as you'll see with our sun print, I used it so the paper wouldn't fly away and it did kind of create this extra little shadow which was kind of cool. Um, so you will have that if you need something really thin and if it happens to be a little windy. When it's in the sun, the paper turns from a dark blue, like this color, to a light blue. It only takes about two to three minutes. So you'll have all the students get all their stuff ready in the classroom. They can put the paper towel over top just to keep the light from going on it, but I found that it didn't really affect it so it definitely was in the UV rays. Um, so they can create that shadow though just to make sure nothing gets imprinted. Two to three minutes outside, and then when you come back in, it will look like this, and then you're gonna have about an inch of water in your science bin, and student by student, you're just gonna dip the paper in the bin. Now I'm gonna show you what that looks like because it looks like you ruined your picture, but you don't. Um, so you dip it in there, just for like, a few seconds and then it comes out like this and so as you remember this was dark blue now it is white and then you're just going to lay it on their paper towel to dry until the end of class after it's dried it looks more like this so you have a nice white so this was a leaf that kind of got blown around a little bit and you have the imprint and then the dark blue around it kind of frames it this was another one we did. Um, we repeated it, and so we didn't have quite the contrast. But this is what it'll look like at the end. All right, have fun.